hello guys and welcome back to my channel and i am back with a very very quick video in regards to the lunar eclipse and mercury being in retrograde and the fact that we're in leo season so i wanted to make this video relatively quick because i did speak about this on my youtube channel but people um requested that i make a video about this on my channel breaking it down in a better way and I figured why not I have no issue explaining it so let me just break this down the best way that I can so we have mercury in retrograde right now or it's about to be in retrograde and the lunar eclipse is going to be happening tomorrow so the lunar eclipse that's going to be happening right now is basically called the blood moon and it's going to be an eclipse so what does that mean for all of us it could mean three different things and you um, can pick in the three that I'm about to break down okay so the first one is transformation rebirth and starting over and a new beginning this is for the people that already had a shit storm of a year this year because 2018 was a shit storm for a lot of people so this is going to mean that you are finally stepping into a new beginning a new era a new way of doing things this could mean that you cut off all your friends all them fake ass people that were holding you back from your greatness this is a this is a great Great energy for you because you're going to feel cleansed and stripped away of all the fuckery that's been going on for you okay that's for you and also you had it hard in the last retrograde that happened in the beginning of this year so everything that's going on right now it's not affecting you because you already went through crazy shit January leading up to now and now you're stepping into a cleanse you're stepping into just it's just beautiful I can see clearly now the rain is gone life is good everything is wonderful so that's that group of people that feel like this is a cleanse and I can honestly say that I'm in that group because I'm not in that energy anymore I'm not feeling those vibes anymore I'm the second group that I'm about to talk about is the group that is dealing with craziness in regards to their finances okay this energy can definitely mess with your finances because not about how you work but about what you're saying at work so you could be going through feeling like your manager is not paying you enough you could feel like you haven't gotten your promotion you could feel like your co-workers ain't shit you could feel all of those things you could feel underappreciative and this could make you want to say what you need to say because even though this energy could be good in regards to cleansing and getting rid of bad energy, this energy could be a little bit tricky because it can make you talk about things that are not being talked about in regards to feeling disrespected and feeling like things are not working in your favor when you've been working so hard. So if you work somewhere where you're feeling underappreciative or you're feeling like you're being underpaid, this could be that time where you're going to see a lot of people cuss out their managers. You're going to see a lot of people fighting at work. You're going to see a lot of people going back and forth. And you're going to see a lot of people even losing their job. Or you're going to see crazy shit going on because there's this group of people that's had enough in regards to how they're making their money. And this energy is basically bringing everything to the surface. So, so whatever that was being done in the dark in regards to being underpaid and underappreciative and underappreciated is going to come to light because this energy is about this is what's going on this is in your face so what are you going to do about it okay um and the reason why it's being so aggressive with this is because we have the sun we have the sun in leo love joy you know performance and all of those things okay so you kind of mix that it doesn't make it any easier because it's putting things in your face leo is about putting it in your face you got a problem that's leo's energy okay so you mix that with the lunar eclipse it could cause people that are always quiet to cuss people out in regards to being at work okay in regards to the workplace even if you own a business you could have been dealing with clients that come in and they feel some type of way they feel that they can say this or that you might have a rant on social media saying i don't give a fuck you might snap at people because of how they're treating you okay so that's that group and then we have the last group where if you have been dealing with secrecies and secrets and crazy things that going on in your love life in your marriage in your relationship 
if you guys have already been on bad terms, things could come to the surface that you did not see before. Because this is about cleansing. It's almost like we're six months into the year. We're six months into a new year. No, seven months. Almost eight months into the new year. So it's almost like, okay, let's get rid of the last energy that's been around and we're going to bring in new energy. But before we bring in this new energy, we got to get rid of the old. So whatever that is done in the dark or whatever that's kind of been lingering, whatever that's just been in the room but people are not addressing it, it will be addressed this week. Or it's, it's already starting for people. I've had readings all week and people have been cussing people out. People have been going back and forth at their jobs. People have been thinking about leaving their jobs. People have been finding out husbands are having other families in the Dominican Republic or in Haiti. People are finding out that they're being lied to. People are finding out they got scammed. All of these things are coming to surface, but all of it is for you to know so you can move forward with this. So it's affecting money and it's affecting people's love lives, okay? So if you're in a good love life, if you're in a good situation with your husband, y'all could be having the best sex of your life because this energy is about bringing out emotions that are hidden. You could be going through something where you and your man haven't been having sex because you guys have been so busy. But this is going to be that week. This is going to be this time where it's going to be intense. It's going to be energetic. It's going to be magnifying. It's just, it's just going to be just amazing. But this is for the people that's been having, you know, a very peaceful relationship. But for the people that are going through some ups and downs and you don't know if he's lying or not, you're about to find out tomorrow. You're about to find out this week. Because even though a lunar eclipse happens for like a day or two, the energy still lingers behind. So things are going to start coming up to the surface. So yeah, those are the three groups. So you're either going to be happy about this and cleanse that's group number one group number two you about to cuss everybody out at your job about feeling underappreciated with how you're making your money and in return if you pop off like this you might even lose your job or you might get suspended things could happen to you in regards to money and the third one whatever that's going on in your family this is the third group whatever that's going on in your family whatever that your husband or wife is hiding from you you're about to find out it doesn't have to necessarily be cheating. It could be that maybe he's been spending too much money and this is a big hit for you. Maybe um, maybe he had a child and he didn't know he had a child before he married you or before she married you. Like, It could be that type of secrecy. Maybe the family had news where you found out something that you know your great-great-grandfather was the... You know, just some crazy shit, okay? Overall... This energy is fucking crazy. It, it is a cosmic, it is a cosmic fuckery meteor storm, okay? And how you deal with it is what's going to get you past this, okay? So again, I'm in that group where I'm happy about, about this shit. Happy as fuck about it because I already went through my shit. But there have been people that have been going through theirs, but it's been building and lingering and lingering. And now this energy is making that tsunami happen. Like it's about to go down. So this is intense. It's very intense. And I think five planets went in retrograde like last month. It's, it's fucking crazy, okay? So now that we know the three groups, whether they're going through something or whether they're happy about it or whether secrets are about to come out in love, life, and relationship, and family, or their job is about to get crazy, we can talk about how can we handle it. This is what we can do. And these, this is just my list of things that I'm going to be doing and I advise you guys to do the same thing as well. My best advice to anyone that is going through the shit storm, um, speak less, listen more. I can't stress that enough. Speak less, listen more. Because this energy can make you say shit you don't mean. This energy can make you say shit that you can't take back. I haven't been confronting people that I want to confront I haven't been addressing people I haven't even been adding people when I see stupid shit they just get blocked and deleted I haven't really been on that wave to speak on things because I know that whatever I may say I won't be able to take it back so speak less and listen more. This is in regards to if you work for someone. This is in regards to if you have your own business. This is even if um, you're in a relationship and you have a feeling that he's doing something, speak less and listen more. Because this energy is going to bring everything out for you where you don't have to speak. You don't have to confront anything. So speak less, listen more. When you do this, you have completely swerved 
any repercussions that will come your way by you, quote unquote, speaking for yourself and saying what's on your mind. Because this energy is not forgiving. Speaking your mind, I'm always for speaking your mind and speaking your truth. But this energy is not forgiving at all. So you're being guided to not say anything. And some of you have already dropped the ball. Some of you have already cussed out who y'all needed to cuss out at your job or in your relationship. But you're being guided for this eclipse happening tomorrow and from here on out until August to keep your mouth shut and just to watch things rather than yell at what you see. I haven't been confronting people that I want to confront. I haven't been addressing people. I haven't even been adding people when I see stupid shit. They just get blocked and deleted. I haven't really been on that wave to speak on things because I know that whatever I may say, I won't be able to take it back. So speak less and listen more. This is in regards to if you work for someone. This is in regards to if you have your own business. This is even if um, you're in a relationship and you have a feeling that he's doing something, speak less and listen more. Because this energy is going to bring everything out for you where you don't have to speak. You don't have to confront anything. So speak less, listen more. When you do this, you have completely swerved any repercussions that will come your way by you, quote unquote, speaking for yourself and saying what's on your mind. Because this energy is not forgiving. Speaking your mind, I'm always for speaking your mind and speaking your truth. But this energy is not forgiving at all. So you're being guided to not say anything. And some of you have already dropped the ball. Some of you have already cussed out who y'all needed to cuss out at your job or in your relationship. But you're being guided for this eclipse happening tomorrow and from here on out until August to keep your mouth shut and just to watch things rather than yell at what you see. The next thing that you're being guided to do is to find peace and solace. Is to find peace and solitude in your space or in your own comfort zone if that makes any sense so this could mean taking bubble bath this could mean taking a pottery class this could mean painting writing watching television doing something that will release stress this could mean saging your space cleaning your space making sure that your room or hell if you can't find peace in your home find peace in your car if you don't have a car go to a library you need to find quiet you need to find a place where it's peaceful. Stay away from craziness. Stay away from it. It's got nothing to do with you. Even swerving the drama going on on social media, it's not feeding into you. It's just drama that's got nothing to do with you. So you definitely want to stay in a peaceful setting during this time. For example, normally I clean my room, I sage my room, and I light candles, I do a lot of prayer, and then I go to watching TV and minding my business, and I just keep my space as peaceful as possible when the energies are doing this vicious twerk session in the sky. Like, that's what the fuck is going on. Like, they're having like a dance battle up there, and we're all feeling it. So while, they're, while, the, while the cosmos is doing all that shit, I stay in my room and I mind my business and I keep it peaceful. So that's tip number two. Tip number three, when it comes to your job, when it comes to how you make your money, whatever that comes to you that benefits you, if there's an issue in between it, if there's something you need to say that will help you, you're being guided to not talk about it right now. You're being guided to just speak on it when the month of July is over, okay? Because right now, God is doing a major cleanse. And this cleanse could mean that you're going to be outspoken and say what's on your mind. But saying what's on your mind are things you can't take back. And it's a very, it's a very hostile energy if you're already in a very negative situation. For example, my man, he's going through it with his manager right now. Like, they're beefing at the moment. And I told him, hey, beef with him after this Mercury retrograde. Okay? Beef with him later. Because he's not going to hear what you're saying. And more than likely... Something can happen where you get demoted. He might not give you as many jobs. Like, you just don't know what could happen. And people are petty around this time, too. So this is why you're being guided to just kind of keep your mouth shut until August. Or at least after this Mercury retrograde. The Mercury retrograde, I believe, is going to end in the first or second week of August. I will probably put the date down below. I'll put the dates down below on when everything is going to start. But um, those are really my tips that I got. And um, if y'all can go to church on Sunday, I'd do that, too. Like, just, you know, just keep it peaceful. Don't speak unless spoken to. And even if you are spoken to, watch what the fuck you say, okay? Like, 
I have not been confronting anybody. I have not been stepping up to anyone because I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to be wrong in this one because I know I'm right. But how would you feel if you're right about what you say, but you get a repercussion for saying it? That's what this energy does. Even if you're right, somehow you're going to pay for it. Keep your mouth shut. And that's really all that I have. Otherwise, um, I'm actually looking forward to all this lunar eclipse energy i'm looking forward to it because it is a cleanse it is a purge and there is a group of people that went through crazy things for six months and now they're out of it i'm one of those people and then there there are the people that have been kind of letting things simmer but they're about to have that wave of craziness happen right now and it can even be petty it can even be as petty as your ex is texting you now or you know, a married man is texting you. It could be as simple as that, but it's still unwanted drama. So you're being guided to keep your mouth shut. If you get that hey big head text, please swerve it until August. Like, just stay out of any fuckery. And if it's already started, don't prolong it. If you already started something that you can't take back, because mind you, the energy has been luring, the energy has been lingering for the past week. Now, if you just keep your mouth shut until fucking August, like, don't say nothing else. Like, you gonna, you gonna fuck your life up if you keep talking, okay? But that is really all that I have to say in that regard. And I'm, I should probably make more videos about these astrology um, cosmos and all this stuff. Because I'm an astrologer first. So I'll definitely do that. So thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> and be sure to like, um, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Like, let me know how the energies have been affecting you. And I love you guys. Thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys later with another reading. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>